right, so I just wanted to take you guys back over to another affiliate post and how I write these posts. So I wanted to show you over the shoulder today and just uh, go through exactly how I've actually composed and constructed this post that we've got in front of us here and basically explain my whole kind of structure of how I approach writing my content for my website. Okay, so this is a post um, for a keyword that I'm targeting at the moment. It's a very easy to um, rank keyword. Now I found the keyword using this tool, which is called uh, Key Search. You can find details to that in the description box. But um, let me just show you exactly how I found it. So currently based on the uh, power of my site, this tool tells me that I can go for keywords under a difficulty of 25. So that's exactly what I look out for when uh, finding these keywords. Now you might say this doesn't have a lot of traffic. That's totally fine um, because I'll still go for it. And what will happen is you'll start to rank for relative uh, keywords as well. So if you rank for this within about two months, you'll be ranking for another like, you know, 10 or 15, maybe 30 words that are all similar with like 100 search, 50 search, 2000 search, all different searches. So don't worry about the the amount of searches a keyword has. As long as you're ranking for something that has some type of search, you'll start ranking for similar terms as well. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, this is a below 21 um, difficulty, so that's good for me. Then I come over to the content writing tool, and then I plug the uh, keyword into here, and this tool will tell me how much content I need to write. So based on the average uh, top 10 ranking websites, it gathers all of the data from that and sees how many uh, words they use on average and then gives it to me. So I know on average they use about 2,000 words. So I just write about 2,500. Like, so I know that I'm beating the top 10 on average. Now, if you want to see the exact amount that each of the top 10 have, just go over to SERPs on this tool and you can see the word count of each specific page here. So you can see like that one's 3,900 and then you've got some as low as 1,500, 1,600, 635, which is ranking on the top 10. That's a YouTube video, that's why. And um, yeah, so there's some that go down to like 1,800, 1,400, that's an Amazon so what it does is take, you know, the highest and the lowest and basically work out an average to give me um, how much content I need to write on average. So 2,500 words should be good enough for me to rank in the top 10. Now, what's good about this tool is once I've basically written all of my content, I can come over and actually plug it into the tool to see if I've included all of the uh, keywords that it says the top 10 ranking, uh, the first page ranking, <laughs> the first position ranking pages are um, using okay so they've got things like these words in there now i haven't got them all i've got about 41 out of them sorry i've got 22 out of 41 that's good enough for me i'm not really bothered to get every single word and then it's got like also the keywords that they're getting the most traffic from for this keyword and whatever else that's not relevant to me so coming back to the post this is how i compose and construct the post so first of all, I know I need to write 2,500 words. So the first thing I've done was basically list out some questions that someone might have if they were buying a new dog leash. So because I've made this about pulling, now um, I, I wanted to target some questions that people would have around pulling, you know, dog pulling. So I've actually, you know, answered those questions first and then give also there's a tutorial video here from YouTube there. And then um, I go into the leashes after. What I've realized is that the way that my site converts best is when I give some information first and then go into the affiliate products. If I just put the affiliate product straight in, for some reason, you know, those pages are not converting as high as the ones of where I put it lower. But I'm just assuming because, you know, it looks more genuine. So people kind of get a read and then come down. And, you know, so most people scroll straight to the bottom anyway and read like this and then come back up and read the post. So, you know, that's the way I've been doing it. And I believe it's more of a genuine approach anyway, so you're not stuffing and shoving links right in people's faces. And then I go through the affiliate links. Now, when I do go into my affiliate section, that's the section of where I've got someone in a buying environment. So I go heavy with the with the affiliate links. Like So I've got like a structure that I use every single time, like which I've realized works the best on my site. I don't know how it would work for different niches, but for this niche that I'm in, in the dog niche, it's working great. 
So what I do is basically I write the uh, few questions that someone might have around this specific topic. So if you're going to buy a dog leash for dog your dog pulling, the first thing you might want to know is how to stop your dog from pulling. You know, so these are the things you might want to address first. So first of all, in the first paragraph, you're going to tell them what the post is going to be about. Now, I highlight the keyword in yellow so I know exactly how many times I've put it inside the article. Um, I don't personally write and put the article put the keyword in straight away. I, I write the article without no knowledge of the keyword or putting it in or whatever. And after I've written it, I come back and then think, okay, where is best to place the keyword? And then I put it in after. So that's where I'm doing the SEO optimizing. Yeah, so I optimize the content after I've written it. Because if you focus on all these other things, you're not going to write the content. So I wrote this like within the last like two hours, maybe about three hours, I think it took me. So, you know, not too long. And I've done 2,589 words. Okay. Now, when I'm writing as well, I don't even watch how much I'm writing. I just write, write, write until, you know, I've covered the topic. I have a rough idea, but I don't focus on it. And then the next thing is like, basically, when I come in, I, I list out the title and then I write out each of the subheadings. So I'll write, I wrote this like before I wrote any of this. So I listed all of these out, all the questions, because when you get those creative uh, juices flowing in your mind, you start to write out those questions really easily because your brain now starts to produce those questions. So I wrote that out. I wrote out this subheading, like all of them I just wrote out. And then I done conclusion at the end and whatever. Then after I come in and I just start writing the uh, paragraph. So then I'll start with this. Sometimes I write this in the title and then subheadings or just this and subheadings and then come and start. Okay, but so anyway, I come in, describe exactly what the post is going to be about and then go into this. Now, what you are trying to do with when you're copywriting for affiliate content or any type of content on a website is you're trying to create this slippery slope is the term that I've heard used before. So what that means is when someone comes in, ideally you want them to slip through from this section to the next section. And the most important thing of this section is to get them onto the next. The most important of this is to get them onto the next. So the, each section is just as important as the next one, but it's just to purely get them onto the next part to eventually they slip all the way down the slope to where they, you know, get into the mode of reading the post and they read the content and then get down to the affiliate content of where they'll obviously, you know, um, really read it in depth and then, and then uh, you know, click through and make a purchase. Now, what I tend to do for the structure of my affiliate content is after I've answered a few of those questions and whatever else, um, I come down here and you can see like all of the images I haven't put in yet. So what I do is um, I, I actually don't put any images into my post. So all I do is like the YouTube video, that's something you might need to get right now, like whilst your head's in the mo mode of, you know, writing this little piece. So I went and got the YouTube video and just place the code in there, which will go into the website. But what I'm doing here is uh, basically I write content and I just focus on that. So I don't like deviate and go over to images and all of that different stuff. I just write the content. And the most I do is just say, for example, I'm writing an affiliate post. I'll place my affiliate links in whilst writing the content. That's one thing I do. So I'm using um, site stripe um, with Amazon. So I can go into like, you know, dog leashes and whatever and just click text and copy this with my affiliate link yeah so I can do that that can get placed so I place those in there because trying to go back and find them is like a headache I'd rather just do it there and then because especially whilst I'm writing the content on the back of like you know this page yeah because I use this now when I'm writing the content I basically first of all copy the title from Amazon so I'll copy like a small section of it like something like this you see so that's that's the leash I'll just copy that part the rest of it is just what Amazon sellers do to keyword stuff um, their titles yeah so if you type any of these words they'll pop up sort of thing yeah so that's not relevant for, for us we just need the main part then the next thing I'll do is place an image directly below the title so I'll place an image directly below the title so underneath here we'll have a big image on my youtube content sorry on my website 
then I'll have a link right next to the image. Now I've realized that when people see images, they can picture it. Like, so you know when you're about to buy something, you can picture yourself with it, can't you? Like, it's like, oh, I wanna get these new pair of shoes and you can picture yourself in the shoes. So right next, uh, after they've got that image, you will get a super high click through rate if you place a link right there so they can see it. Cause some people are gonna be like, I don't need to read this crap. I'm just gonna see this uh, product. I like it. I'm gonna go check it out on Amazon. So you wanna give them that option. You wanna give the option for those people. Now, when you're in this buying environment, there's no holding back like with how you place your links. So, you know, like obviously you usually place your links like, you know, very kind of hidden almost or, you, want, you don't want it hidden because you want people to click them, yeah? But it needs to be a direct instruction. Now, what you need to have on your links, your links need to be so definitive that if someone came right down here and they had not known what exactly this whole thing's about, they need to understand what the link does and what it's about in one sentence. So that link has to make sense to this, like, to the reader, even if they hadn't read, read anything else. So this just says, check out this dog leash on Amazon. They know exactly, check the dog leash on Amazon. So, you know, it makes sense. So I'm not holding back here. I'm not trying to say, you know, see more details or whatever. Like I have written it in those ways as well, like see more details for this product on Amazon or whatever. Yeah, but I'm not holding out, like trying to, kind of put it in the text and hide it out and whatever i'm just like boom click buy like you know click see more details because they're in this environment i've already done all the nice speaking and explaining and whatever this is now like you know when you're ready to buy it or you want to see more details click this go check it out you know so that's what we're doing in this part of the section so the first thing um i've explained like obviously a little bit about the product here now and then I go into a second image. So this is the, the actual structure I use every single time, yeah? So I structure the page with answering questions around the topic, first of all, then coming into the affiliate section, and then uh, basically title with number, and then image below, and then straight affiliate link. Affiliate link also on the title, okay? So there's one link there, and then one link below the image. Then after that, I come in and write some content, image and then affiliate link again yeah then i write more content and affiliate link at the end so that's my structure and then you can see this when i continue on affiliate link in title image and then affiliate link would go below here yeah so i haven't even placed that in because i ain't really bothered like all the time to put them in straight away so click here for more details on this dog leash over on Amazon okay so hit, click here to read more details about this dog leash on Amazon see so I'm not I'm I'm literally just telling them about what to do because they don't feel they're being sold like kind of missold to here now if you're really running an ethical website you should have no problem with telling people to buy this stuff because they're good products like if you're telling someone to buy a good product then why do you feel like a certain way about selling to them and right now they're in the buying mentality at this point like you know okay give me the link now like so you just tell them click the link and you need to write as if you're writing for a very young child or an older person like that you know like old old like 70s and 80s so they kind of can understand so if they came here it says click here to read more details for this dog leash they'll just be like oh yeah great you know that's how simple you need to write when you're writing this so no fancy language or anything like that okay so you can see i haven't even corrected my uh, spelling errors and things like that yet because i don't do that until the end you know the top section i did like earlier a little bit because it was bugging me with some of the words but after that i just let it be okay and that's what i usually do anyway that's what i should have done which is why it took me three hours it usually takes me like less time than that okay so anyway so the next thing i'll do if i go to number two is so affiliate link in title image and then affiliate link so there's two links there but when you place the image in let me just give you an example of how this image will look like i save all of the images as well when i'm actually uh doing the uh the when i'm actually d writing this all out i do actually save the images that's one thing i do so i just save it on amazon but let me just show you like exactly the way this will look so if i were to 
copy this that I'll show you how it will come out yeah if I this is how my post will look I won't show you the post because um, you know until the sites where I want it sort of thing but um, so let me just make this smaller so you can see it so this is how it would kind of look yeah so if I were to uh, let me see if I can place this in the middle or something. I don't know how to position it on this app because I don't use it. But um, yeah, so like that. So you can see this is how it will kind of look. Okay, so this like is just say on my affiliate posts, I make my images like this wide. So it it won't be that wide the image, but I'll have like a box around it that will come out like the whole width. Yeah, but um. So you can see <clears throat> exactly how this works. So this is how I'd have it. And just say I had this image again that I'll show you. So this is how the post would look. Can you see? So they'll come down, read it. Oh, that looks kind of cool. And then, you know, that's it. Click here to check out more details for it. And then continue on reading. And then, you know, another image, see more details on Amazon, continue reading. And then blah 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 you know if you want to um but this one i've got like another image again like so i'm actually doing like a three image post on this one so you know you can see exactly how this thing works yeah and this is how i'll do it so they'll come down and this will be an affiliate post so they'll basically be reading through this and the clearest parts of this is just purely to click the link and go and check it out on amazon you see, and then this, this, they'll be annoyed if you don't have these links. It's that simple. Like, if you don't have links to go over and check the product out, people are going to be like, where the hell do I click it? How do I get it? How do I buy it? They're coming here to buy something. And that's what you need to understand. Okay. But that's how I do that. Now, with the images, on when you're uploading your images, you really want them to be like anywhere under 120 kilobytes. Yeah. So, megabytes. Are how big your page should be so your overall whole piece of content or post should be a maximum of like you know 1.5 or 2 megabytes like you don't want it bigger than that otherwise it would take so long to load and it will reduce your um, speed now um, before we actually get into that last thing the wanted to show you this as well so the way I find how many times I should use the keyword is like this so if I type in my keyword the top ranking post, I'm going to see like what comes up for the verbatim search. Now, this means this is word for word exact. That's what verbatim means. Yeah. So these are the sites that have used it exactly in the titles. Now, what's interesting is you can either do that or do all results. If you put it in quotation marks, you can see how many sites actually use the exact same title or in their content as well. So only 100 results. Now, that means I'm only competing with 100 other results. There's all those other you know sites and whatever, but for the ones who are using it exactly, only 100 others, which, are, which is great, brilliant. That's easy to rank for, very easy, very, very super easy to rank, okay? So anyway, what I can see is um, all these sites that have used the uh, keyword in their title, so I can see like best harness and best this and all I do is basically go over to like one of the sites and I'll see like best harness for golden retriever I'll just see how many times they've used it so the one I went over to just now it was like um, let me just see I I had it like this let me just see it was like about five times in in the amount of the content that they had let me just see uh, what one was it let me see Um, so they had about 3,000 words so it would have been this second one totally goldens okay uh, so I'm assuming it would have been this one yeah best collars it was best collars for golden retriever so all I do is basically now you see what it is they're ranking for for this uh, keyword that I'm trying to go for but they're not using the same exact keyword. They've used best collars for golden retrievers, but Google feels that it's relative. So that's why they're ranking for it as well, you see? So that's what I'm trying to explain. Like, don't worry about the amount of search something has because you'll rank for, they're ranking for this and also for best collars and also for probably like, you know, 10 other things. And I can show you that afterwards. I'll show you that in just a second. But best collars. So then we press Command F or Control F on a Mac, on a, on a, on a Microsoft sorry and then you can see they've used it five times so that's one in the in the in the title 
and then once in the uh, content, twice in the content, again in the title, and then in the content again. So a total of five times, twice in the content, and then three times in, um, sorry, th three times in content and twice in the title. So that's what I've written here. One in time in the H2, one time in the header, and three times in the content. So I know I need to use it five times on average per 3,000 words. So th can you see how they've structured it as well? They've actually got the, the top part, which is here talking about table of contents and all of that kind of thing, exactly like mine. And then they've answered a few questions that you might have around the topic. And then they go into the affiliate product. Now they're using buttons. Like, I mean, you can use that. I, I don't use buttons. I think it's a bit cheesy, but they, then they go into more content and whatever. So they've con con constructed it a little bit different to me, but still very similar. Okay, so I knew roughly that they used their keyword in the content about five times in 3,000 words, okay? So that gave me a clear indication. Mine for two and a half thousand words was roughly about four times. I needed to use it four to five times. So I got it one, two, three, and uh, four. You see, so that's enough times. And this is a long tail keyword. So you don't need to be stuffing this in your content nonstop. So four times is more than enough. You know, I've got it one, two times in the content, and twice in the titles, which is perfect. That's brilliant, yeah, nice distribution between the two there, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is basically, when I uh, do this now, I'm gonna just edit my images. I'll come in and, and, and you know, I'll, I'll use Grammarly to edit like all my text. So right now, I'm not even bothered about how this looks, like all these spelling errors and whatever, it doesn't matter. Because what I'm gonna do is copy it over to WordPress and then that's where I'll edit it. But I constantly save it there. With this, I use this because you can't lose your work here and it's easy to organize and save into you know folders and whatever else. I've got all of my stuff like saved on here. So Google Docs is what I use. And the best part about Google Docs is also for the outbound links. So like when I'm actually, um, you know, like uh, um, like doing outbound links with um, Google Docs, you can just press like Command K and it does a Google search and it finds like the top ranking pages for whatever keyword you've just highlighted. So say for example, you're doing this, this is like WebMD, which is a pet site as well. I could uh, deal with that, look, problems with pulling and stuff and whatever, and I, that's it, you see? So I don't know what that's actually talking about here. But um, let's have a look. You see, so this this is what, yeah, so this didn't really make sense, but um, a majority of the time it does a search for you, you see? So you, you don't have to do all the long stuff. Like if I do Amazon, press Command K, it would link out to it straight like that, you see? So that that's why it's really good. But because when you do it on WordPress, you've got to, actually search it then copy it in and all of that stuff so i do my outbound links here now for outbound links you want to do like two 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 per thousand words roughly yeah two per five thousand to fifteen hundred words so for this i'll do it about four or five times yeah so um or maybe six times that like, because i've got two and a half thousand words yeah so um yeah that four times i'll do it yeah just roughly so let's have a look at uh Let's have a look. So we, we uh, so larger size dogs. That's something that you know, it can better help my um, reader understand what large size dogs are. Like, so what sizes I'm talking about? Yeah. So this, what your outbound links need to do is help the reader to better understand your content. Like, so it needs to make your resource better, improve it. Yeah. So if it's not doing that, don't link out. Okay, and don't worry about having to do the outbound links. Just try and do it where you can. Okay, so Amazon Choice is another thing people might want to know about, like what it is. Yeah, so that's Amazon Choice. So that's that. And um, I just sometimes sort out a few of these when I'm coming back through. Like, you know, sometimes it's not. So that, we don't need to change that because that's the name of the product. Okay, and... Um, metal metal buckled yeah so so metal buckled so like that that's wikipedia yeah okay so i've done that three there and then i might do like another one wherever it makes sense so uh yes over the larger that was meant to say see because some of them are pretty bad but i told you i don't really care Okay. 
So reflective, that's something, you know, reflective. I don't know. Someone might want to know what that is. Yeah. So reflective. Um, no, nah, not really. That's not good. Okay. So uh, sales page. See, so this one, I'm like the, 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 the brand when I was checking the Amazon post has like a backstory on, on their sales page. So I was like to see more about their backstory, um, he, you know, head over to Amazon and see it. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So pulling habits. Yeah. That's something that um, might. So uh, let's just see puppy pulling problems. We we'll see if we can find like AKC or something like that. I know I already linked out on one of these already, but um, let's see that Pet MD. We was on Web MD. Yep. So that one. That's it. So that that one. Sometimes I manually do it as well if need be. So now I've done it. That's my outbound links done. Yeah. So I know that's done. So I can just copy this straight in and start putting my images in. Now for my images, what I do is I'll basically start this and I always want to get the images nice and small. I put them to an exact size for every single image on my website, which is 850 by 350 pixels. And I use um, Photoshop for this. So what I'll do is I've already saved the images. So I'll open that up and then I'll basically uh, come over and say, for example, if I had like the image from um, Amazon, I don't know how good, how kind of cool it is to use images from Amazon. I use them on Amazon products when I'm reviewing them. I don't know. I'd have to check out licensing for that. But you can see like, you know, this is how I kind of uh, adjust my images. So I'll just come in like something like that. And I can also add like, you know, writing to it as well that way. So I could add like something on the right. Yeah, just something, whatever you want to put that makes sense with this post or whatever. But if, if it doesn't, just leave it normal like this. But this is what I was saying. I have it as a box. So that's it. I'll just leave that like that. And uh, that will be one of the images. And I'll just do that for all of them and then put it all together. And that will be my post. But for anyone who kind of is writing affiliate posts and having trouble, I hope this could basically help you. Okay, that's it. Peace.